Good morning from Alamogordo, New Mexico, where it is 50 degrees right now with a high today of 84, 84, getting into, well, spring, summer, whatever. It's uh, warming up. Yep. Dream it, do it, wish it, you know, whatever. Dream it, wish it, do it. But anyway, uh, for your viewing pleasure today, I did a, my first day trip. You're going to be very impressed because you're going to get driving videos for the next several days. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty though. You get, it's a pretty drive. Yeah, you know, you'll be impressed. I think. Yeah, it's, it, it worked out great. It, I left here about 9 a.m. and got back about two. And beautiful drive, man. Right through the mountains and stuff. Yeah, really nice. So anyway, that's my new life, so to speak. But anyway, what else? Uh, today is the first day of the rest of your life. Make it a good one. It's the day after yesterday, day before tomorrow. It's right now, and right now went. Right on by, I say that every morning. Why do I say it? Well, because if there's anything you want to do in life, sooner or later, you're going to have to get started. <laughs> you know. So what else? Uh, stand, oh no, well, hold on, hold on. Never worry about what you cannot change. Very important. It's a good, good uh, thing to practice. So what else can we do here? We can do comments, but let me think. Anything else? Oh, as far as the electric trike, I, I, I sent the people a email and canceled it because I watched an assembly video of it. I mean, they send it, and it's just a box full of parts, okay? And it take, they say it takes up to two hours to assemble it. Poop, poop, poop. No, no, no. I watched it, and I said, I, I don't see my hands doing those little screws and holding this while you do this. No, 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 no. So there, that's out. So we'll come up with something else. Trike man will have to come up maybe buy his own. Mary Valent, Valent or whatever. Anyone want to take bets about the end of camping? Well, you know, you can take bets all you want to, but, uh, and you know, man, I, I just, uh, never mind. This is a good life for me right now. If Mr. CJ Cab 64, any plans on heading back to Mars? Back on the meds? Yeah, no, no, uh, <laughs> no, no plans right now because Mars is too far away from here. I mean, there, there's no Mars look. Well, I guess there is some lookalikes out there in the boonies. Prairie night moon on the RV stuff. I've been on the I've been on three Caribbean cruises and one Alaska cruise. We went to Alaska in July, and the highs were in the upper 50s. It's so beautiful there. You might like it too. Yeah, I might. I've been on cruises, but they go like that. You know, you go on a one week or two week cruise. You spend three to five thousand dollars. And it's just poof, you know, poof, you know. And uh, and I don't want to, the, the flying to and from and stuff, uh, we'll see. I'm not going to rule it out, but thank you. Patricia Reddick, good news. Did the YAG hurt at all? No, best wish. No, the YAG, it, it's the same thing as the, uh, when they're talking about YAG here, what they mean is after, after uh, cataract surgery, sometimes you get a clouding on the, on the new lens. And uh, they do what's called YAG, Y-A-G, surgery. And they go in there and they clean it up using a laser. And no, you, you, it just it's like five minutes. It doesn't take any time at all. Yeah. But it works. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Patricia. Uh, this is An Anita Blades. The state park cabins are fairly reasonable in Oklahoma, one bedroom size. Yeah, state park cabins and uh, uh, RV park cabins are fairly reasonably priced. Uh, the state park cabins sometimes don't have anything but uh, not even a bed. You know, they, they just have a blank space and you bring your stuff, you know, which is not bad. If all cabins were like that, I could easily prepare for that. You know, I just uh, haven't done it yet and I may not. Anyway, uh, Blue B, there's nothing like the feeling of a chubby bank balance. Go forth and conquer. Uh, yeah, that's true, you know, and uh, yeah. But I don't. I don't have that much. I got some, but but I mean, I've sold everything. I mean, I'm down to just cash now, just pretty much. Everyday explorer sounds like fun. Mix it up and enjoy your adventure in other ways. I just picked up my new travel trailer today. Excited for my season at Forest Lake Campground, Windsor, New York. Take care of my friend. Well, I hope everything goes well for you. No RVing is what it is. It's still great. I mean, there's nothing wrong with. It. I mean, I just. I've just done it for so long. I was ready for a little change, a little change. I did it. You know, I did a lot of a change for me. 
James Robert, Zillow as a rental app on there are some cabins. Okay, thank you. I'll check. There's all kind of places. You're Airbnb, there's all kind of sites and stuff. It's just a matter of me determining whether I want to go somewhere for a week or a month and, and if so, where and when. You know, like right now today, it's going to be 84. Is that hot? No, no. 95 here is not bad because the humidity is so low. It's like uh, Alpine, Texas. You know, it's about the same elevation. And when it's 92, 95 there, it's not bad. If you're in the shade, you're fine. You're evaporating, but you're fine. Uh, user says, get your pilot's license rusty. Well, I did have at one time a VFR license, which is visual flight reference. I didn't do the instrument rating, but what I found out there is I'm dangerous. Okay. Uh, uh, I don't, uh, I mean, I, ch I do the checklist stuff, you know, I did that, but, but, uh, I didn't, I couldn't understand the, uh, controllers at the, the, the air traffic controller. What in the hell did you just say, cowboy? You know, <laughs> she's, I mean, I'm fixing to crash into a tree here and you're telling me to go to runway something, you know, nothing. No. So I, I no, I could do that, but no, I'm not. Joe Woe, enjoy yourself in whatever it is you decide to do or not do. Que sera, sera, true. The future is yours to see. I travel the world every day on YouTube and enjoy doing it. Yeah, I do too. You know, I, I got to, you know, flying over the USA on, on uh, YouTube right now the, you know, with no sound. And uh, yeah, it's, I can just sit there and go over Utah and Grand Canyon and all that stuff. Will Hunt, we are waiting for our new outdoor RV to be built and a diesel truck to be built. We found executive suites and a kitchen almost the same price as some RV parks. Yeah, it's probably true. You know, you probably can do that. Yeah, because RV parks, you know, they're, you know, they're, they've gone up quite a bit. Particularly the, the nice ones, you know, the, the, you know, the, the resort type things. Uh, oh, here you go. Scotty Thompson got a bowling report. Says he did good, great. Uh, 159, second game, 215, and 170. Pretty dead gum good, guy. Hang in there. Yeah, you're doing all right. And uh, anyway, this is Van, Van Dan, whatever, Van something. Whatever you do, sir, keep enjoying it all. And please keep posting. You are a delight. Peace to you. Yeah, you even like to watch me pick my nose? <laughs> Thank you. Uh, this is FR3 something, my dream house, the tiny home. Well, good. Go get it. Casey Carr, we've been watching your channel for several years. I just want to thank you for taking us on tours of New Mexico State Parks. We started RVing in 2020, and your channel gave us great info. Thank you. We're looking forward to your new adventures and more inspiration, safe travels. Yeah, I, I'm just going to be doing me and uh, simple stuff and We'll see how it goes. You know, I mean, I'll post videos. I mean, even if I'm the only one watching them, I'll post them. You know, I mean, I may lose every subscriber I've got. I mean, but I, I'll watch them. By God, you know, sometimes I'm the only thing I can find. You know, uh, Linda Miller, cool. Uh, RB Living with the Geezer says, it's up to you, Rusty. Actually, at 4330, Alamo Garda is very tolerable during the summer. Hit Cloud Croft for a dose every now and then. Life is good. You've earned it. Yeah, you know, that, that's a good point. I, I can do that. You know, I just did that pretty much yesterday. And uh, no, it, it's it's a great area to, to springboard to uh, the mountains, right? I mean, it's 25 minutes to cloud cross, 8,500 feet, you know. Uh, J.D. Gross, you have the best damn channel on YouTube, Rusty. I hope to see you on the next one. Well, you know, hey, man, we're, we're good. We're good. Thank you. Uh, Robert McDonald. Are you going to sell that place? Oh, I already sold the, the Cloudcroft place. It's already sold. Kittle, little Kittle, it's exciting to think about all the places you could go. The world is your oyster, even though you don't like them much. I don't like oysters. I got sick on them one time. I went to Houston. I can't remember the name of the place we went. And we went to a baseball game first. And then after that, we went to this famous seafood restaurant. Man, I'm telling you, when you get sick on seafood... Uh, food poison? Oh, man. Jeez. Man, I, it, you don't want to do it again. Uh, Kenneth Kilpatrick, there's always l the little runaway trailer would work well with the Corolla. Yeah, I, I looked into that. I, I, seriously, I looked into it seriously. I even drew out the, 
the floor plan of it on the floor of the house here, the tiny home, put a mark on the wall for the interior height and, and, and tried it in you know, my mind. And uh, no, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, it's just, it's you're, you're just towing a bed down the highway. It wait, you know, by the time you get it loaded out with all your stuff, you're looking at about 900 pounds, you know, even though it starts off about 650. <clears throat> And it has an air conditioner and a little electric strip. So, yeah, it's, it's definitely workable. But then, you know, you got to get a hitch put on the Corolla. Uh, and uh, for, for they're not out there yet for the 2024s. Found that out. And uh, and then you got to have somewhere to go. You know, and that's one of the issues I was having with RVing is is finding a camping spot that I wanted to go to, you know. And uh, and the little trailer, you know, and, and anyway, no. On the runaway, I, I just realized it ain't going to work for me. I mean, if I was going to do anything, I'd keep the Class B and go in comfort, you know. Uh, but anyway, Joe something. Well, I don't know if you will mention it. There is also camping out in a hotel that has free breakfast as part of the cost. I guess you could do that, you know, just stay in motels. I, I thought about that. I'm still thinking about that. This is 1966-something. Wish this dude was my neighbor. Cool. AF, I don't know what that means. Uh, any, Air Force? Anyway, uh, we'll do a few more here. Kenneth Kilpatrick says, knew a woman 20 years ago who was co constantly traveling to Hot Springs, was always on lookout, on the lookout for another one to try. Yeah, there, there's Hot Springs, you know, north of Silver City on the way to Gila. Cliff Dwellings, there's some around uh, uh, Truth or Consequences and Elephant Butte. Yeah, there, there's a few of them around, Hot Springs. I've, I've never gone to one. I mean, I've, I've gone by them, but I've never gone into the water. A uh, long way around. Isn't it logical after spending over one third of your life living the RV to move on to something new and different? Yeah, I'd say that's fairly logical. The world is open to whatever you choose to do next. You do you best. Follow your own internal compass, Rusty. I'll still be here watching. Well, thank you, long way around. I appreciate that. And we'll move along here to Anne's, A-N-N-E-S. What are you going? What are you going to sell next? Uh, I don't have anything left to sell. <laughs> We're sold out, babe. Jay and then James says, "What are you going to buy next?" I don't know. I, I'm thinking about. Well, I was gonna. I was gonna become an influencer for a, a electric trike company. You know, I was gonna do one of their electric trikes. But the one I had in, in Texas was great. I just can't figure. I couldn't get it up here. You know, I didn't want to drive a thousand miles round trip to get it. And uh, the people that are going to haul my stuff up here don't have room for it. Uh, so, you know, I just thought, well, shit, I'll, maybe I'll get another one somewhere. Uh, Diamonds Trucking. If you're going to fly somewhere, look for a private airplanes that do that fly you somewhere for usually less than first class plane ticket. Yeah, you can charter a plane. You know, you got to pay. But the thing about chartering a plane, I've done it before years ago. And uh, you, you you pay, it's prop time. You know, you, you pay for the aircraft and then you pay the pilot also. And, you know, whenever that prop's turning, the money's coming out of your pocket. You know what I mean? So if you're sitting there and he's going through the checklist on the runway, you know, brrr, you know what I mean? The money's, brrr. so I was aware of that. And to fly anywhere uh, with a pilot, you know, just fly somewhere and then back, uh, you're looking at a minimum of a thousand bucks a pop. Minimum, you know, I mean, you know, well, unless you're just going to go fly around and come back for an hour, uh, that'll cost you about $300. <clears throat> uh, D D DMB drummer. Hey, Rusty, congrats on the new tiny house and the sale of your RV. Thank you. Uh, here's a video idea for you. New Mexico is not a state that gets a lot of national attention. Uh, he wanted me to do, uh, let me see what he's got here. Uh, I would have, I would love a driving tour of New Mexico where you visit. Yeah. No, I'm not going to go to visit big cities and do the food and all the crap. If you want to do that, you're on your own. Uh, we'll do three more. We'll shut her down. Larkin something, Delby. I expect you'll want to find some place to escape in the July, in the two in July and August. I don't know. We're going to see. I may not go anywhere. User says, what do you think about RV rentals? I think they're expensive for me. Uh, I mean, for for someone that's just going to take a one-time trip for a month or so, probably great. Yeah, and they got a family. You know, if it's just one person, it's not really a great deal. Wayman Semaine, 
Congrats, Rusty, on selling the RV. RV. You do you, boy. Yeah, I do. Me, boy. You bet. Anyway, beer and bacon. Thank you. This is, so anyway, guys, from Alamogordo, New Mexico, where it's 50 degrees, going to be 84 today. Thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye-bye. Carpe diem means seize the day in Latin. Carpe diem, adios, bye-bye. Buy anything you want, anytime. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all of my videos. Why? Because it doesn't cost you one penny. Then, take deep breaths to relieve stress. You know, breathe in, breathe out. Drink plenty of water, three or four quarts a day. Stretch, walk, swivel, all that stuff. Exercise your body once or twice a day. Then stand guard at the door of your mind. Uh, this is your head, your brain, your frontal lobes, your consciousness, all those little neurons, neurons in there forming neural links, which is every single thought, dream, memory you've ever had. So give your neurons something positive to work with. Accentuate the positive, eliminate the negative, enjoy your life one day or one moment at a time. At ease, carry on, adios, bye-bye, hasta luego, bye, con Dios. Aloha until the next video. And on and on we go, guys, one day at a time. Don't forget beer 30, 4 p.m., Friday today. Bye. New Mexico time. Bye.